Welcome to Edge Loops and Loop Cut and Slide. So in this video we're going to go through what an edge loop or what edge loops are, how to select an edge loop, then we're going to move on to the power of a loop cut and show you how to control its slide function, the loop cut and slide. So let's hop over into Blender. Okay, so we've got our pyramid here. Now I want to demonstrate an edge loop for you. So if we've selected an edge, let's just pick an edge down here. Oh, we need to be in edge select and edit mode if you're not already. Uh, we've got selected this edge here. And now an edge loop is just a continuous series of edges. So there's an edge here, an edge here, and then it disappears behind the model and comes back again. So if we go to mesh and go to edges, and then somewhere down here, there's edge loops. And you can see it's selected that loop of edges. Now the shortcut, the keyboard shortcut for that is Alt. So if you're holding down Alt when you click an edge, like so, you will select the edge loop. Now in this case all of these go round in a loop, however if we were to select this edge here whilst holding it down you can see it terminates at the top and it in fact terminates at the bottom. And the reason for that is because these other two edges have come in and created what's known as a pole, where three or more edges join together. There is another exception where you've got a quad, where if there was a fourth line coming in, it would probably continue this edge loop all the way around our model. And the same happens with these top edges. If you try holding down Alt and clicking, you will find that they also don't go anywhere. So that is an edge loop and we can use that to select our edge loop when we need to modify it. So let's try using a loop cut. Now the great thing about this is that you can literally cut up your geometry and create more. So if we hop over into face mode you can see that there are only four faces around the top of this pyramid and if we hold down the shortcut keys control and R at the same time, we end up with this pink thing appearing on the screen. This is how our model is going to be cut up. Now, the way that it's deciding where to uh, cut, as you can see, if I go towards this top edge here on the pyramid, it cuts around our model. And the same over here. If we come towards this edge, it cuts around our model. And that would happen on all of them. Now by default this is a proportional cut and by that I mean zero is in the middle so let's just left click once and we can see towards the lower left it says edge slide so this is the slide part of our cut it goes from one all the way across to minus one so it's a proportional cut and zero being bang in the middle so because I've moved it which you're going to do all the time I'm just going to press zero before I finalize that cut. Now if we hop back over into face mode, we can see it's divided those faces up. Right, so I've just opened up a brand new Blender file just to show you something with the loop cut and slide that I don't want to show you on the pyramid because it's, it's a bit too complicated or complex, sorry, to show you on that geometry. However, a nice simple cube, it's brilliant on. So I'm going to hop into edit mode really quick, make sure edge select is on and I'm just going to make this shape here a bit more like the pyramid that we've been working on and I only really care about this front face. So when you're doing a loop cut and slide when the faces aren't already a parallel at the top of this square, let's go and put a loop cut in now. Um, so, so control and R and then left click and it enables this slide. And as I mentioned before, it is a proportional slide and you can see it goes as an, to more and more at an angle as it goes towards the left or the right. Now in the middle, um, it's zero and on the left it's minus one and on the right it's one and we can see that edge slide in the lower left hand side um, it's going all the way as I say down to minus one and up to one in this case I want to put it bang in the middle so I'm going to hit the zero key and just press enter and that fixes it in that location 
Now one of the great things when you're cutting up any model with the loop cut is you can actually place geometry on top of one another. So if I go and create another loop cut now with Control and R, and we can just see it there. If I move it across and bang it straight up against um, the previous cut, and then select, or oh, we'll actually apply that change, uh, there's extra geometry on top of one another at the moment. Now I can use the 3D uh, manipulator now just to pull that out and we can see if I switch on face mode that there are three separate faces. So it's great being able to put geometry on top of itself without worrying about it too much. Now remember if you've done this the model can become very messy so make sure you do it with intent and do something with it immediately rather than just leaving it otherwise it's going to cause you confusion later on. Uh, one final thing to mention, if you're doing this type of thing and you've got proportional editing turned on, so the shortcut for that is O, so you might have hit O by accident, or indeed enabled it down here. Now one of the things you uh, will notice when proportional editing is turned on, is if I do the same thing again, and put one on top of the other, and then try and move it, ah, there's not an extra bit of there's no extra geometry created and you also get this circle on the screen so that's a good clue that you're in proportional editing mode when you start moving things we'll go through that um, actual tool later on but just to make you aware at the moment it's almost the same as if you've had merging your vertices turned on when doing that thing there so make sure you've not got proportional editing turned on if you're doing this type of action and you're going to need that in the challenge coming up it's challenge time I'd like you to create the ramp for our steps using the loop cut and slide feature it just needs to be on one side of the pyramid for this exercise and we're going to be creating the ramp needed for some stairs and to give you an idea of the end result I'm going for it's a parallel set of steps like this it just makes creating the steps going up easier later on pause the video now and give that a go Welcome back. How did you guys get on? Now before we hop over into Blender, what I need to make sure is that you're not skipping ahead. I really must impress the importance of trying out these challenges yourself. And if you're not able to do it, put the onus back on me, your instructor, your tutor. If you're having difficulties, if something wasn't clear enough for you to be able to do this challenge, then I need to modify these videos to make sure it is very clear for you. So, without further ado, let's hop straight on over into Blender. So, we've already made one loop cut down the middle of our model and divided it in two. We need to make another one. So, I'm just going to go Control and R and line it up there. Now I'm just going to move the mouse at this point and I'm going to ram it up against this one and put those two edges literally on top of one another. Now once I've done that, I can now control where those edges are in our model. So I'm going to hold, I'm going to press G and I'm just going to move it. If you moved it the wrong way, the model will go a funny colour. Um, now, I've moved this out and I only want it moving in, I'm looking down here towards the bottom left, the Y axis. So I'm going to press Y and that's locked it into this axis. Now I want to move it by the looks of it by about one and a half. So I'm going to type in 1.5 and press enter. Now I can do the same thing with this edge loop, but I'm going to have to select the edge loop first. I'm going to hold down Alt and select it. Then I'm going to grab it, moving it only in the Y axis by 1.5? No minus 1.5 so minus 1.5 and there we go so that's created some fixed points at the top and the bottom that we can link up and the final thing is to create our ramp so I'm going to select these bottom two vertices I'm going to hold down shift to select multiple vertices I'm going to still holding down shift I'm going to press these two vertices here and then I'm going to press the F key. 
monkey to generate a face. Now that face is inside our model. I'm going to now change the view to wireframe and that also has a shortcut key which is Z. By pressing Z when you've not got anything selected, moving, rotating etc, it will in fact switch to wireframe mode and we can see underneath that ramp is ready for use. How did you guys get on? I will see you guys in the next lecture where we're going to use that ramp as the base for our steps.